So, here you are. You clicked on the description of this video or the title of this video, and now you're probably wondering, who is this crazy chick? Who does she think she is to say that Christmas is about presents? Hey guys, it's Kendra, and today I am bringing you a special Christmassy video. Can you see my little string of lights? Yeah. My room is so pretty now. It's all Christmassy. I'm in the Christmas spirit. And if you see me going like this, it's because I'm on a spinny chair. Yeah. Also, fair warning, my blood sugar is low right now, so I may not make total sense. <sighs> it's not fun. Low blood sugar stinks. Anyways, today I'm going to be talking about Christmas. And yes, I meant what I said when I said Christmas is about presents. And before you go throwing me under the holiday bus or anything, like, is there such a thing as a holiday bus? Before you go attacking me for that statement, hear me out. <laughs> so what I mean by Christmas is about presents is that I'm trying to challenge that assumption and that lesson that everybody teaches during the Christmas and the holiday season. So many videos and movies and just like, I, I don't know. Mostly it's prevalent to me in movies and music nowadays that there's this message that Christmas is about spending time with your family and peace on earth, goodwill to men. And you know, Christmas is all about spending time with your family and friends and you know, like, that kind of stuff. How many movies have you seen where there's like this one character that says, I love presents and you know, they're all about Christmas is about themselves and Christmas is about presents and they're all like gung ho for presents. And then by the end of the movie, they say something along the lines of, Christmas isn't about presents. It's about spending time with your friends and family and spreading the magic of Christmas. You know, something like that. Almost every single Christmas movie is like that, and it drives me nuts, because they're missing the point. <laughs> I know, I sound like a crazy person. I sound like, oh my gosh, Christmas is all about materialism, all about presents. Uh, that's, okay, here's the thing. Christmas is about presents. I think that we don't talk about this enough. Christmas actually is about presents, you guys, and before I completely explain what I mean by that, I want to tell you something. Most people, I think, get this idea that we give Christmas gifts, and I don't know if, like, people celebrating Hanukkah give gifts. I, I don't really know. I'm not Jewish. But I am Christian, so I know Christmas. I'm going with Christmas. <laughs> I think a lot of people think that these uh, gifts that we give during the Christmas season are to remind us of what the wise men gave to Jesus. Um, you know, the three gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But I think that's missing the point as well. I think that Christmas gifts are actually supposed to be a reminder of what God has given to us in his son Jesus. I think that Christmas gifts are actually supposed to remind us about Jesus. And that is why I say Christmas is all about presents because Christmas is about Jesus, and he was the greatest gift that was ever given to all of us. Every human being has this gift that's waiting for them, salvation, forgiveness, redemption, and not everybody decides to receive that gift. A lot of people choose to ignore it, or they choose to push it back. And that's not what God wants for you, necessarily. It's like he loves you, and he wants to give you this gift of forgiveness. And that's why Christmas is about presents. So I'm not as uh, materialistic as you might think. I love presents, by the way. I love presents. I just, yeah. I, I think it's kind of sad that when you grow up, you can't be excited about presents anymore. Because when you come downstairs on Christmas morning, you're supposed to just ignore the presents and act mature. And I'm just like, oh, come on. We all know, we all know it's Christmas morning. We all get gifts here. Anyways, if you enjoy presents like I do, do not feel guilty about it. Christmas gifts are a great way to remember what God has given to us. So basically, this gift that God has given to us is forgiveness, like I said. The Bible says that all men have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And this means that everyone has sinned and we 
we're not on an even playing field with God anymore. We can't be in a relationship with God because of the sin that we have committed. So, the Christmas season is so special and is so important to us Christians because this is the time of year we celebrate Jesus' birth. This is the time of year where we celebrate Jesus Christ coming to earth to save us. Because we realize that our sins separate us from a holy God, we needed a perfect sacrifice in order to basically cleanse us from those sins. And Jesus is that perfect sacrifice. So the gift I'm talking to you guys about, that this whole Christmas season is about, is about Jesus and about his death on the cross and how that completely washed away all of our sins. But we have to accept the gift of forgiveness. We have to come before God and ask him to forgive us and ask him to place the Holy Spirit in our hearts. And I know that may sound kind of weird, but just go with me on this. We need to come before God and ask him for forgiveness and ask him that Jesus would become the Lord of our lives and our savior. And that is everything that Christmas stands for. Christmas is the time of the year where we celebrate what God has done for us in his son Jesus. And if that's not the reason you're celebrating Christmas, then you're missing out on something incredibly important. Because God loves you, he sent his son. And there's so much that I could say about that, so much that I want to say about Christmas and Jesus and all of that, but I'm pretty sure this video has gotten long enough as it is. So if you're interested in accepting God's forgiveness and becoming um, his daughter or his son in Christ and accepting the real reason for the season, then please leave me a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Or you can just pray and ask God into your heart and ask him to cleanse you to forgive you and have Jesus become your savior. So that's it guys. That's uh, my video. <laughs> I hope that made sense. I just sit down and I start talking. I, I don't really have a specific plan for where I'm going with this. And like I said, my blood sugar was low, so I'm hoping this makes sense to you. <laughs> Anyways guys, have a great Christmas season. Have a great holiday season if you don't celebrate Christmas. I love you all, God loves you all, and just go out there, have a great day, week, month, year, life, whatever. Go do it. And don't forget to subscribe if you wanna. <laughs> <laughs>